Revolutionary Brew, we're back. It's been a little while since my last video, but um, we're back with another, of course, a homebrew kit review. And uh, this is a kit that was actually made by uh, Drunk Canuck. We're going to try out another one of his beers. So what we're going to be trying today is actually, it is a Pilsner, a Morgan's Canadian Pilsner kit. Uh, this is one I've never tried before. I've never made it myself, but uh, Drunk Canuck made this one. It's uh, It's been in the fridge for about two months now, I think. I just, you know, I put that to the back and I drank some of my other ones, and now I'm going to review this one today. It's, like I said, the Morgan's Canadian Pilsner kit. It was made with uh, one kilogram of Mutton's uh, Brew Enhancer. I've never tried that before, so that should be interesting. Also, uh, 500 grams of light, uh, light dry malt extract. And uh, 200 grams of dextrose. Uh, what else do we have in here? He looks like he added another uh, 5 grams of uh, yeast. I think it's the yeast that came with the kit that he used, is what it's saying here. And um, he also added uh, 5 grams of, uh, it says, uh, root beer slash champagne yeast. So I I don't know much about that, but uh, I guess we'll see what it uh see what it turns out like he says it's a little bit lower than five percent alcohol per volume so we'll give it a try i've always wanted to try one of these morgan's canadian kits i've seen them out there just never really got around to it but uh let's see how it turns out and here it is nice little label on it i think he made that himself and we'll crack her open uh, again thanks to drunk canuck for sending this beer down and uh, we'll give it a pour Got a nice little copperhead brewing glass. You know, if you're, you ever want a nice beer glass, go to the Value Village. You get a good glass for one or two bucks. Whole big selection of different types of beer glasses, different styles, different brands, everything. Anyways, without any further ado, let's give this thing a pour. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, it's pouring very nicely. I can tell already this is going to be a nice beer. Look at this. Uh, beautiful Pilsner. This is, uh, this is what you would call a textbook Pilsner. Look at this. Take a look at this beauty. That's a textbook Pilsner. It's, uh, it's like most of your regular lagers, a little bit darker. Nice head, and I think it's going to have that little hop bite with the traditional European Pilsner type of uh, bite. But let's give it a try. I mean, the proof is in the taste. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he did a nice job on this beer. This is a very... Oh, what a smooth beer. Let me have another taste here. Oh, that is smooth. Man, this is an unbelievable beer. This is a great beer. I'm telling you, this is... It, it's not quite... It doesn't... It, now, the one thing that's a little bit off on the style of beer, it doesn't quite have that Pilsner hop bite. Uh, traditionally, a Pilsner has a little bit of a... a little bit of hop in there to give it a little bit of flair. This doesn't really have it. It's very lightly hopped, but talk about a smooth beer. Ooh. Yeah, this is one of those beers where you could, on it's it it's got a nice flavor to it. It's got a little bit of a malty flavor to it, which like like I said, it's a little bit little bit different than your traditional pilsner. But man, talk about smooth! This is a great beer. Uh, Drunk Canuck, guy. Uh, yep, you hit the nail on the head with this one. It's uh, I'm surprised. I I was a little bit skeptical about the Morgan's kits, cause just cause I haven't heard that many people brew them in that, but uh. There's nothing wrong with this at all. And as you can see, it tastes good, and it's a, it's a beautiful beer. Like, it's just got that amber color and just a little, little bit of copper to it, a little bit of copper. So, uh, you know, I'm going to give that beer a 4 out of 5. And I, 
like I said, I was skeptical on the Morgan's kits. I didn't really, didn't really figure there'd be too much out of them. But as a good beer, great job, Drunk Canuck. Uh, appreciate that. I'm going to really enjoy that one uh, when we go off to review. So, yep, yeah, solid four out of five. Um, I might even try a Morgan's kit now myself just to give it a shot. Um, stay tuned. We got more reviews coming up. Um, excuse me. We got some Cerveza back there. We got the Dutch Lager. Just... You know, it's the summer, not doing a whole lot of reviews, a lot of stuff going on around here, so. But uh, stay tuned, the beer is just going to keep rolling. And uh, like I said, if you want if you want a nice light ale, if you like a nice um, refreshing, like today here it's uh, 29 degrees with the Humidex, I think it's 37. This is the perfect beer. It's the, it's the perfect beer. It's very light, very refreshing. It doesn't get any better than that, really. Uh, just follow the recipe. Like I said, it's the uh, Morgan's Pilsner kit. And um, if you want to follow it exactly, uh, I, I mean, I don't know about that champagne yeast. You'll probably have similar results just with the kit yeast, but uh, solid 4 out of 5. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, cheers.